Hello, and thank you for watching this video from Overhead Products. My name is Scott Guinea. In this video, you will learn the recommended preventative maintenance on the Roberts Gordon CoRayVac Specialty Fuel Heating System. This system is designed and manufactured for specialty fuel vehicles. This system uses clean filtered air. All products of combustion are contained with Schedule 40 pipe and exhausted outside the building, making this system clean burning, free of emissions inside the building. Before you begin these preventative maintenance steps, be sure you have the key to the thermostat guard. We'll need to locate the heating control panel. Normally this is located by the methane detection panel. Once you find that, you'll be able to find a wall tag or a shop heat binder. The shop binder might be located by the HCP, but it might also be in the maintenance manager's office. This wall tag the same drawing is inside the binder, will then give you the layout of the system so you know where the thermostats are and you know where the heating system is. Once we've located the thermostats, we're going to disable them. So we'll now disable the thermostats. This particular building has two thermostats. It has two zones with a combined fresh air inlet. We'll turn these both off and wait for the vacuum pumps F running to go through a post purge. After that, we'll then go check the filter. So now, with the heating systems off, connected to this primary combustion air filter box, we're able to extract the filter, check it for cleansiness. As you can see, this filter is pretty clean, but we're gonna go ahead and clean it anyway. We're now gonna show you how to wash this aluminum filter. We wanna be careful not to blow the media out of it. However, using a pressure washer, is what we use to clean the filter. We'll now take this over to a air hose. We'll blow this out with compressed air and then we'll install it back in the filter box and the system's now ready to run again. And now with the clean filter, as you can see, we have a direction of airflow. We want to make sure those arrows are pointed up with the direction of airflow. Put it back, lock it in, and we're done. This part of the preventative maintenance is going to be done at this filter location at the burner. We only perform this one to five years, but typically these, these things will go five years without needing to be looked at. But we're gonna look at this one anyway. It's been in for two years. As we can see, this filter is pretty white still. I don't see any signs of contamination, so we're just gonna go ahead and put this back on where it was. If this filter was dirtier, we would then go ahead and request that all the filters get changed out on this system. One thing to keep in mind, the way this is positioned, we like to have the filter up high, especially with the gas valve on the other side. This is the only way this can be installed the filter can be installed on either side of the unit. However, the uh, gas valve definitely has it to be installed up on the box. Make sure that it's good and connected. And that's that. So we're now back at the thermostat where we're gonna put the system into test mode. I'm gonna have the vacuum pump come on and then the burners will soon follow 45 seconds later. We do that by getting it into the test mode by holding down the third and fifth button simultaneously until ISU appears. When ISU appears, press the arrow over button till test appears. Select test, heat, and then we're gonna select the arrow to hit stage one, and voila, the vacuum pump comes on. Now that we have the system on, we're gonna go listen for bearing noise at the vacuum pump, and then we'll move on to check the burners as they start firing after 45 seconds. After checking the vacuum pump for vibration or a noisy bearing, we now go straight in to checking all burners for ignition by looking in the inspection window or utilizing this trusted infrared heating gun. As we're doing so, we're looking at the hanging material, making sure that nothing is falling down or 
things are awry on the hanging material as well as the clearance to combustible. This whole system has a four inches above the reflector and 48 inches below the heat exchanger for the clearance to combustible zone. That is a complete stay out zone of any combustible material. This concludes our recommended preventative maintenance on the Roberts Gordon Co-Ray Vac Specialty Fuel Heating System. Thank you.